I thought I'd walk you through some basic configuration of change data capture. So what I'm showing you here is our management console. That's our primary UI. There's a section on the bottom here called data stores. And so data stores are the set of CDC engines running near databases. In my example here, I'm running on my laptop. I have a data store that's going to work with the DB2 database on my laptop and then another data store which is our engine that is used to deliver data to data stage. And then subscription. Subscriptions are our basic unit of configuration. A subscription is a set of tables which are being replicated together so, so all the changes across all those tables in a subscription will be replicated transactionally consistently. And then as I select a subscription, you get details here on the source table. But let me walk through the process. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add a new subscription. And I'll give it a name, Apple. And I have to select where the source and the destination. And, and I'm going to actually do what I'll just call it a loop back. I'm going to go from the same from one database back to the same database. Just um, because I just happen to have one database on my laptop here. And I do want to map some tables. I've got a subscription. I want to indicate what I want to replicate. So I'll click here, yes. And it brings me through our wizard for mapping tables. Um, and I will ultimately go through this wizard path of mapping a whole bunch together. I could also do custom mappings where I'm doing a, a sort of more specific things for each table. There's a number of different table mapping types here. There's standard, which is when you're really just making a copy of a table. Live audit is where you're creating an audit trail of the table so that on the target you'll get a table that contains a row for each change that occurred on the source. You'll get an audit trail of all the changes that occurred on the source table. Adaptive apply is just a variation on standard where you know that the target may not be a perfect copy. You want to keep going anyways even though it's not a perfect copy. Summarization and the consolidation one-to-one -one and one-to-many are some somewhat more complex relationships between the source and target that le can let you do some sort of lightweight re renormalization. You move to, you know, to a somewhat sort of a data warehouse format. I won't go into the details in this qu first little demo here, but um, I'm going to do multiple one-to-one, -one, which is really make making a pretty straightforward copy of a uh, live copy of the table into another database. And so I select the set of tables here. I open up this schema. I find one that maybe has some tables in it. Maybe it's down here. Here's some one ones that have some tables in it. And I'm going to pick a couple here, table 1, table 2, table 3, and table 4. And we do have an ability to create new target tables. That's really for the purposes of, sort of playing around, of, you know, demo or testing and stuff. You Traditionally, you're going to want to create the tables yourself in the target database because you know the right table spaces. You know all the right characteristics for the table. And so that's what the path I'm going to follow through here. So I'm going to map to existing tables. And what we do, we imagine there will often be a pattern in the relation naming relationship between the source tables and the target tables. So we pick an example source table, and you could pick another one if you wanted to, but I'm just going to stick with this one. And then you find where you figure out what table you want to map that one to. So in this case, I'm going to map it to this one here. And the wizard has, in fact, figured out, oh, the rule's pretty simple. It's the same schema, but it's got an underscore T, and it checks, in fact, finds that for all of these, that same rule appears. So because this is a demo, it all worked. If there were some variations, it would have managed to, to map some of these, and then you've gone back and, and, you know, found the other patterns or done the individual mappings for the other tables. But, and this can handle prefixes and suffixes in either the schema or the table name, or both. I'm going to want to do mirroring. We do allow the option to do refresh only, which is really you're just using this tool to do a copy, a one-time copy, and it's not the common use case. Mirroring is what you're getting change to capture for. We do handle bi-directional replication where you might have changes occurring on both sides. It's, there's some real issues around that. You have to know what you're doing. One of the things that replication has to do is, of course, prevent recursion, that if you make a change on system A that we copy to system B, we don't want to copy that back to A, B, A, B, to forever. So um, that's what prevent recursion indicates. 
our whole goal with our technology is to minimize the impact on the systems to make sure everything we're doing is useful. Many of our customers are not doing bidirectional replication. There's a little bit of extra effort required to do this recursion prevention, so we let you choose whether or not you're going to do it, really basically by determined by whether or not you're going to do bidirectional replication. So I've got that all in place. This is in my little review. I'm going to hit finish. And there we go. I'll create another recording to sort of look at some of the details inside one of these because I think lots of little videos are better than a few bigger ones. So.